And across the ring, boxing out of the blue corner this evening, wearing white and silver. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 141.8 pounds. 11 victories, three inside the distance, one defeat and one draw make up his record. Standing at the ring this evening, proudly, as the former Midlands Aerial Welterweight Champion, he boxes out of Wolverhampton in the West Midlands. Introducing with his final instructions. Fellas, you both know the rules, keep it clean. I don't want anything low, watch your heads. And when I say break, take a step back. Most importantly, defend yourself at all times. So there's great noise here. And even though we're here in Bolton near Manchester, it's Connor Walker who's being roared on. It's going to be fascinating this, a clash of styles. Two fighters with decent records, Gardner carries that little bit more power, seven knockouts on his, just three for Conor Walker, who will work away and try and break his man down. These early skirmishes are going to be absolutely fascinating, Barry. Yeah, they are, and for Gardner, this one keeping that solid jab and keeping Walker off his chest. See Walker in very low in gravity, swaying side to side, trying to find that opening to to mount this attack. Already see Gardner trying to use that jab. Walker, the fighter on the front foot in these early stages, trying to close the gap. Seeing this bend of the knees, those little level changes from Walker in these early stages trying to find a rhythm. Good there from Walker there, just jumping up. The, not that one, the one before that, jumping to the body there, just trying to stop the movement there of Gardner. Gardner landed a good left hook there. Nice check right hand. Over the top of Walker's jab there. He's got the height rather than he's used that height to his advantage. These guys have done a lot of sparring together. And it, it's very different once you're, you've got the head guard off and you don't have that protection and the gloves are bigger and in sparring. Now they're smaller, so it's easier to land the shots as well as harder to cover. And he's got that feel of two guys who maybe sparred a little bit, but now still figuring each other out, even though they've probably done hundreds of rounds together. The mindset and intensity is different, isn't it? Massively different. The well, Walker said from those spars that he knew Gardner wouldn't come forward and would try and box on the back foot, and he was the one who was going to put the pace on him, try and close that gap. Maybe they're finding out plenty about each other here. As you say, very different circumstances. I think it's smart work here from Walker, who's targeting the chest and the body with the straight shots. He's got his jab off to the chest, straight right hand to the body as well. Probably where he's going to have the most success in his early rounds. Just got to keep that head moving, Anthony Walker, when he's coming forward. That's really important for him. Good work there again from Connor Walker. In what might end up being a close fight, we don't know, can't predict the future, but nicking these early rounds can be absolutely vital. Good aggression there from Walker. Top, real. All right. Right. In there with Good Kane Gardner from Droyles at ABC. Yeah, yeah. no laying back, you're up and anyway. More you throw, let's see you throw. Yeah. Clear message as well. Don't let him back you up. Gardner lost a rematch against Ben Fields, top opponent in May 2019. His other defeat against Tom Farrell and Boxer event. 
nice. Good work there from Gardner. And again, he's going to have to constantly move, but it's smart movement. Just, just dancing around the ring, he's not going to be good enough. Morgan is going to walk him down. Yeah, you're right, Barry. Good, good change of head height as well from Gardner. He slipped underneath that right hook that came flying round. Everyone's got a different entry story into boxing. Ben Gardner says that started boxing at nine years old in the local youth centre and his mum got peace and quiet for the day for 15. Connor Walker came from a rugby background, was in the Leicester Tigers development squad, a scrum half. What a great surprise, tough character. And he took up boxing. And there was a good left hook there, Walker. I think Gallant, I don't think he was seriously hurt, but he just panicked a little bit. Good response to there with that right hand. Slightly better round so far here for Gardner. Knows what Walker's going to do, he's going to come forward. And get his head right where it is now. Got to stay active, active for that left hand is Gardner. Nice tight defense from Gardner. Right to the body there from Walker, and then a right hook. Gardner hurt, and Walker tries to pile on the pressure. Back pedaling now, Kane Gardner. To the body there from Walker, but Gardner with good movement. Quickly with the left hook there as well, did Walker. See, I'm not sure if Gardner was seriously hurt, but again, the second time in this round, he's been hit and he's panicked a little bit. Yeah, that's what I thought it was, Barry. It was almost like a panic. He went into the hold, missed the hold, worried about being exposed. I mean, he's... Better work from Gardner. When his back is off the ropes and he's got room to punch, he's much more successful. This is, if I was him, I'd think, right, I need to somehow get my foot in the centre of the ring and stop getting marched back. I mean, you've got that one hand and working. Okay. Very that's words what we're Harrison. Yeah. But it looks as though you With don't Kane like it. They're in that corner, and here's the shot that, well, did it rock him or not? There it is, just off balance. Yeah, see, again, though, it hits him on the shoulder, but he, the fact that he, like, uh, uh, George, he just tried to hold and couldn't quite get it, and he just panicked a little bit under the pressure. Well, Walker became a dad nine and a half weeks ago. Isabel gave birth to Leo, and he says it's given him a completely different perspective and a different energy as well. Something to fight for. Two lovely jabs there from Gardner just a second ago. Though some real bounce to his step, real long, fast with the shots. And like George said in the last one, he's just got to put himself at the centre of the ring, isn't he, George? Yeah. A great work here from Walker. Gardner evaded some of those, but not all of them. Walker, Walker's mindset is, is relentless pressure. That is exactly where he is in his comfort zone. If he can try and back you up with a sharp head movement, and then as soon as he feels in position to a punch, he will punch. Gardner here, with room to drop back, but in the centre of the ring, he's almost dictating the pace then. Must be much more comfortable for him. As soon as he's back touches the rope, I'd look to drop my head, break out left, break out right, one or the other, find the room, create the space, back to the centre of the ring. The left of the body there from Gardner. So far the fight developing as we thought it might. Walker, the pressure fighter, Gardner boxing on the back foot. He's having all the big moments. Walker in the fight. Just got to be careful that it, he doesn't need too big a gap in between those moments. And he doesn't get all boxed and then make that round very, very close. Big right hand coming there. Yeah. 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 
response to that right hand from Walker. And again, that left to the body. He started looking for that regularly now, trying to slow down Connor Walker here. Pressure start from Walker. Gardner has had to feel his way into this. Now he's starting to have moments of his own. And he's picking out a really nice left hook to the body. Sometimes it comes square right in the middle, sometimes it's behind that back elbow. Walker the work there from him. Right hand though from Walker. Good response from him. Slight cut over Walker's left eye. And it's a cut on the forehead, isn't it? I think just above the eye, right, and it's not in a great spot for Connor Walker. So, so, jab, but everything's got to come off the jab. You got to throw Trying to get Ken Gardner going here. Yeah, and that long game, because he'll come this time. He'll come. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the boxing. Keep the jab. Message clear there, keep to your boxing, keep doing what you're doing. By the way, there was an indication that the cut came from uh, accidental clash of heads. Doesn't look too bad over that left eye of Connor Walker, but it's something for Kane Gardner to target. Good foot movement from Gardner again there. Yeah, Walker, Walker's corner must have got onto him and said, right, get back to that high pressure and get back to the body shots. He started with some really good straight straight jabs to the body and some bent arm hooks to the body. Yeah, because the pressure's good from Walker, but it has to be relentless, doesn't it? It can't be any, there's too big a gap in that last round. And that low guy just get his boxes together. Can you keep it up relentlessly for 10 rounds? That's always the question. It's almost two different fights when Gardner's on the ropes and when he's not. He's on the ropes. He doesn't look comfortable at all, and he gets caught a lot, but as soon as he creates that distance for himself, the shoulders relax, and he's able to pick the long shots. Caught there with a good left hook from Walker. Walker made him miss a couple of times as well. See, five out of the ropes here, guys, and what George was saying, that's his exit out. He landed with a good shot. There's a, there's a brief moment where Walker stops throwing, you get off the ropes. Won the University Championships as an amateur, Kane Gardner. With a degree in exercise and health, but still wants to pursue this career. Big good pressure in this round, hasn't it, from Walker so far? Doubling up that jab, Gardner. This is where he wants it. Good shot. Again, the gaps in between the work here of, of Walker again, it's subsided. Yeah. It's physically tough sometimes to keep pressing the fight with the sharp head movement. But it is what is giving him the most success right now. He needs to try and maintain that. This could come down to who, whose will will break first. Yeah. There's no question though about where both men want to be. When it's like this at range, it's Gardner's fight. Walker wants to be coming forward and keeping the pressure up on Payne Gardner. Good exchange there, though. Right hand from Walker, a big smile on Gardner's face. This is the Connor Walker corner with Richie Gent. Danny Ball's in there as well. He's trying to get their man going. Barry, for the first time in this fight, how are you scoring it? 
Well, I got level, but I'm, I'm, I'm conflicting that last round. I just give edge of the Gardner run. It was a tight one, I feel. I think he started fast walker, but then uh, Elo Gardner back in the fight. Elo Gardner got his boxing together quite well. General consensus, ringside is their level at the moment. It's yeah. a hard one to score. No, I've got it level, but not, not the same way. My workings are a bit different from Barry, so they are hard to score. Sometimes the round is off two halves as well. Walker usually starts the round pretty strong, pretty fast, pretty good, landing shots, but Gardner, after the first minute and a half, settles in, finds his range, and lands the eye catching shot. So, how to score it? The left hook on the spin there from Gardner. What's interesting about this round so far is that Walker started every round strongly, but not so much this one. Gardner in control in the early stages. But he is making Gardner work. I think that's important. When you're not doing stuff, as long as you're making him work hard, you're sort of half doing your job with the pressure. But ultimately, the pressure is for you to land the shots, and you have to let those punches go. There's that slashing left hook to the body again from Gardner. No, you're right, Barry. Neither looks comfortable, but they neither look uncomfortable. They're not ragged yet, no one's like, bleeding energy as such. They're both boxing really well, but no one is quite settled into the fight where they're in control. Good work here from Gardner, and again, a little step up with the jab. Gardner got the win of his career so far against Marios Matamba in Glasgow. That was a couple of fights ago. Really tough, dangerous South African, and Gardner found a way. Dealt with pressure that night, needing to do the same thing here tonight. That cut is getting worse above the eye of Walker, by the way. He's headhunting a little bit here, Walker, isn't he, George? You can see it clearly. That's why he's missing. With the shorter guy's always got further to travel, you know, he's got he's got to commit more with a shot. And that was, I mean, that... Now the pressure from Walker again. Success, yeah. But again, though, I don't think that shot really hurt Walker, uh, Gardner too much, but he panicked. It was a good shot by Walker, he punched through the target, and he felt it. Gardner, but just again, a little bit of panic in his world all of a sudden. I was going to say, this was the first round I felt like Gardner moved around the ropes, hasn't sort of set the ring, but he's kept that distance, that, that long-range distance that suits him. You're moving, you're moving lovely here. Moving, it's the movement that's going to win it. Yeah. He's having to start, you start, you oh, start. Yeah. yeah. Big deep breath. There's the message from Ian Harrison again. It's the movement that's going to win it for you. That's the message for Kane Gardner, George. Yeah, I think so. As I say, in that last round, he was able to create that distance, keep it at that long range. It's so much harder for Walker to land with the shorter arms and the shorter starts. He's having to commit more with the feet to get into range. That's Gardner's sort of fight. But when you have a fighter like, like Gardner, who's, who's going side to side, changing direction, as we see here, just whack him to the chest. Just stop the movement, hit him on the shoulder. Just stop the movement, and then when he stops for a second, then you jump on him and rally away. Good shot, though, from Gardner. Give us signs of either fighters starting to slow here, but haven't really been any. Caught at a high pace. Walker has set that. Yeah, he's just a fraction quicker in this round so far. Gardner doesn't want to relax too much. He's certainly finding a little bit more of a comfort flow. I was just thinking the same thing, Joe. He's relaxed and to get some fluids into his work, isn't he? Yeah. Just waiting. To, you mentioned this in a, a couple of fights ago. He's just waiting, Walker, to get that perfect shot on. You always got to create the, create the opportunity rather than wait for it. Yeah. It's just a smoothness now about Gardner. I haven't really seen so far in this sixth round. He's 
gliding around a little and finding a rhythm. Walker's pace has slowed a touch. The, you know, the feints are not quite as sharp. He's head a little bit. That was a good jab to the body. Now he's got Gardner back tedling here, Walker. Final minute of round number six. It's a close fight, this. But he's leaving too much of a gap between him and him and Gardner. And I know Gardner that space, that comfort to move around, set himself to land with that. Shot from Gardner. the movement of Gardner again. Walker just chasing him around the ring a little bit at the moment. That's what Gardner wants. Well, he's, he's following him around the ring, Dave. That's the problem. Like, I mean, that, that weren't too bad, but he, uh, those sort of combinations take a lot of energy, a lot of effort when you've got forced the feet and forced the hands, as opposed to, you know, taking an angle and cutting the guy off in front of you. Sometimes it's good to move away from the guy who's moving away from you, break away and come back in, start all over again. So far. Is he starting just to take control of this? He is on your scorecard, Barry. Yeah, I think the last two rounds have been the clearest ones and the easiest ones to score, I think, and they've been both scored for Gardner. I think the first four rounds were difficult. I think the, the, the bigger moments all came from Walker in those rounds, but there was gaps there where Gardner was allowed to sort of maybe pick up the punch with the jab and the straight right hand. Jab there from Gardner. Then the left to the body from Gardner. He ended that really efficiently. Maybe not quite with the volume he would have liked. This feels like Walker's putting a lot of energy into this and not much reward at the moment. Felt body shot there from Walker. Walker's just got to be not afraid to miss. I feel and you don't want to miss, but you let you got to you, get your feet in the right positions. You get into close to the target. You got to let your hands go. He's making the right movements. He's getting there, just not committing to the attacks. Yeah, yeah right. from Gardner. You're right, Barry. Just can't linger at that sort of. Slightly longer range, which is at the end of Gardner's shot, but too short for Walker. That's him just getting peppered with the shots. It might not be huge shots, but as you get peppered with two, three, four shots, knocks you off your strike, and they do have an effect. He's worked the body well here, the walk in this round. That's, that's like the fourth foot. Really good left hook to the body, he's landed. And he's three rounds to go after this one. Super close between Connor Walker and Kane Gardner. Great rivals. Both feel that a win here would be a springboard. Targeting that English title, first of all. There, Walker. 30 seconds to go in round number seven here. One to go after this. Every second absolutely priceless. With a real effort to hear Walker this one. He hasn't he hasn't been he hasn't put his foot in the gas and just gone swinging for the Raptors, but he, he's trying to be more effective with his work. Close the gap a little bit better than he did in the last two rounds. Yeah. Both getting the pep talk here. Yeah. Well, I say, Dave, it's been a great fight, great atmosphere, but this venue also has the benefit. You look up at the balcony, you see Chloe Watson moving up with Ricky Hatton. It has a little bit of everything. It does, I was just thinking that, George, he's got a great view of it. 
Well, they were both being told they need this round. How have you got it, Barry, going into this? Yeah, he's got Canada just ahead, so I think he needs to stay safe. They're still trying to win the round, but it's just all on walk, and I feel to get out there and he's going to grab this round and win it as big as he can. Smashing left hook there from Gardner. Been a fantastic clash of styles, though, hasn't it? It really has. Good head movement there from Walker. Just needs to fire off it. He's going to have to do those long arms. Going to land that combination. Does it come down to who wants it more to dig out the old cliche? They both want it badly here. significant now a good 30 seconds could win you the fight it could be that close I think I think the second half of this fight has just been Gardner's fight he's just been able to create that distance and therefore have that success and Walker hasn't been able to break him down he's had the odd success and he's like that the jab to the body but he hasn't been able to build from it because Gardner's just so good at controlling that distance them to break out to his left and his right and land them eye-catching long-range shots. Move up towards the final minute of the fight here. Still up for grabs maybe for all Gardner's good work later in the fight because here comes Walker. Good combination here from Walker but needs more of it. Nice left hook from him also. See blood from the nose of Gardner now. Both taken plenty of punishment here. Walker scoring early, Gardner later in the fight. Couple of rounds that were hard to score. Big right hand there for Gardner. Left hook there from Walker. Both landing quality shots, 30 seconds to go. Lovely one too there for Gardner. Just hold his feet up there, get some purchase on those shots. But Walker's been strong in this round, committed. Final 10 seconds, look how desperate they are to try and force the win. <laughs> Two great rivals, but friends as well. And they'll embrace, and who knows, they may even do it again at some point. It was the clash of styles. It was fun to watch. I would your card, who's got it, Barry? I got, I got it for Gardner just, no, but I, I would say this. For, for Conor Walker, you ask your fighter, you've got to win this last round. And he went out there and did all he could to win it. That's all you can ask for. Whatever the result is, all you can ask is that he went out there and he gave everything in that last round. He pushed the pace, he had to take some shots, reward him down, and probably didn't have to win that last round. But for me, Gardner is boxing. As George said in the second half of the fight, I think he pulled away with a better movement. Yeah, I gave, I gave Walker the last round as well. I've got it. Um, only 5-3 though, you know, I think. There's only a couple of rounds in it, so if one goes the other way, who knows how, how the judges have scored it. I think Gardner, one, deserves to win, um, but... <laughs> we'll see, know. we'll see. Referee has scored it. We can find out now. Let's get to Paul. Respect to both boxers after eight rounds of welterweight boxing. Scoring referee Darren Sargentson decides the bout. He has it at 78 points to 76 points in favour of the winner. From Basic Greater Manchester, Sugar King Gardner. Gardner gets it narrowly. They may do it again. Chloe Watson to come after a short break. See you in a moment.